Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. All right, guys. So welcome back. And I went to play soccer, so I just came back and took a shower and back to the video. So in this video, as you can see here, I did take some liberty and did some UI stuff. So as we discussed before, this is going to be the list group from Bootstrap. This is just a basic UI. And we have this nice logo of YouTube because this is a YouTube clone. So let's search for something here. First of all, let me search Ramto and we see some screen. It's changing and this is awesome. The thing is I don't have, I haven't uh, added the click thing yet. Before in the P tag I did add, but let me add it here. So let me, before that, let me show you what I did. So in the suggestion, I imported this list group item in the React fragment. So the list group will directly be attached to the list group item. So there won't be any div in between. And in this one, I have added some styling. So this is about displaying in a flex. So it's going to be side by side. And then one will be for the image. The other will be for the title and the channel name. And I did give it some style. So this is the title style and this is the channel style. And we even gave some UI like spacing to our search box. So here in the search box, as you can see, this will have a padding on top and bottom. So which is working fine. So now what we need to do is, first of all, if I am at this point, first of all, let me change it and add the selected video. So I'm going to do it in suggestion on this item on click. And we had this on click. So we were doing something like this, right? If you remember it. Change selected video and that selected video will pass in data. So this will work. And let's see. Okay we go here okay it's changing selena gomez okay this is perfect heat hey, i did click on it this was changed okay perfect it takes a while but it does change so what we need to first of all do here is we might have to add some style of cursor pointer so we don't want to have this kind of a cursor when i when i am on this thing so how i can do that is just super simple cursor and i'll change it to pointer so we'll have that hand which is going to okay i forgot this parenthesis all right so as you can see here now we have a nice looking hand here and okay let's change something Perfect, it works. So the other thing what I wanted to do was, this is uh, responsive. So if you see here, the suggestions will come at the bottom. So I can even have the suggestions. Uh, let's write suggestions on the top. So I can either have inside or I can have here in the app not in the app but in the video so we can have suggestion written somewhere here so p it's gonna be a p tag hmm. suggestions okay let's see how it looks okay so this isn't bad this is good and we have all the suggestions here and this, I don't think there is any need to do any modifications. And one thing I wanted to do was add a footer. So let's add some footer at the bottom. And we are going to do that in the app. And here, row 
footer I haven't created it but now we are just going to create it so in the components I'll have footer.js react okay arrow function we will have p tag made with love by Ramto education or I'll just write Ramto okay so let's see what do we have here and footer is not imported so I guess it is going to import now and let's see all right so we have something at the bottom and let's put some stuff into it love emoji okay red heart is nice so I'm gonna take this one and in the footer okay this is not looking nice but let's see what happens what do we see on the screen it should be red okay it is red that's awesome and style margin or I'll just use text align center padding 20 and font family I'll try to have fantasy let's see what it is okay it's not bad and text centered in works text align so I'll have to use let's see if margin works and you know what there's another way if you want to do some styling so let me show you that so you can just go to the console not in console but in the element you can do it in the element so this is a row right so this you can all you need to do is change it to column call import column from react bootstrap and it's gonna extend extend itself to the whole width most probably it should and it didn't so I'll have to do this <coughs> so extra small 12 it should now okay so it didn't so let's see what's wrong here so you can do this and you see this is our p tag and I guess I removed the text and align center then that's the reason text align and it should work I guess yeah it did perfect this is awesome so now let's see what is missing here if I click on this icon I should have like I should come to my home page but this is okay this is not bad so let's try some tests if I do a bunch of crap here okay and in this scenario what I need to do is if there is nothing I don't want to show this I want to show that okay this is uh, we can do something like this that this let's try let's see what YouTube is doing maybe we can take that emoji or something so let me put some crap and oh wow this is awesome <laughs> okay this is what I was looking for and I can let's see if I can inspect or save as what it is Okay, inspect. 
So this is kind of a background, I guess. Icon. Okay. So can I get this somehow? Okay. Try this. Wow. Let's try. Okay, props expected a style property. Okay, so this is a bad idea. Okay, no worries, we won't do this. We might do this on the other videos, but let's go ahead and not found or we can just manually do it. It's, it's, this is not an urgent thing. So, okay, so let's quickly handle how are we going to handle the no result found. So if we are having something like this and we don't get any video. So let's see what happened. Okay, I think some, okay. So here you see there's nothing, no videos found. So what would happen in this case is we want the user to see that, okay, this is, uh, there's no video and please search for something else. So we can have an error state at this point. So const error and set error to use state and I'll have it as empty string and I can even have it as a boolean so let's try with the boolean so false so what happens here is before setting something if result dot length is less is equals to zero set uh, error to true else set error to false okay this is because what if the next time you find something or the api find something so that's the reason we need to set it to false okay so here we will do this thing that if error right so that's that's the name is right error or errors okay it's singular error if it's there I want to show that h1 and no result found. Please try looking for something else. And else here we will have this video, single video. So that's it. And it will be the same case here in the list group so but we will handle it with an end operator so if there is no error this is something what I have written wrong so if there is no error this one you are supposed to do this okay so let's check and this is working correct and one more thing we need to will take care right now so each child in a list should have a unique key right so in the list group item suggestion 13 will add a key so suggestion 13 key equals to item or data dot id okay and one really important thing that i forgot here is that I need to display this list like let, let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm having this video here right so for that reason I don't want to see it in the suggestion all right so what should happen here is okay so as you can see here we have this video the the this will change in a moment but we have this video on the screen so this recommendation should go away. We don't really need that recommendation. So we can handle it. It's really simple. So first of all, in the video section, 
I will do one thing. I will pass on in the suggestion. I will pass on selected video. And I'll just uh, pass on the selected video ID. So selected video dot ID. I'll do this. All right. So in this case, I'll need to handle if there is a there is an ID because right now it's in the throw and error. Let me show you why. So okay so it didn't throw any error but ideally it should because there's no id but okay so let's do the selected video id and i go in here and it might be undefined so selected video and here i'll put it id and i'll have to return this so I can do it like this return okay so if there is data dot ID is not is not equal to selected video ID that's when you are supposed to return it in other cases there's gonna be no return so let's see okay so see the ring so the ring is it should be the first one and just because we have it as selected video we cannot we don't see it here so let me do this ring came here and crowded room went away from this list so let's try doing the Will Smith one okay Will Smith went away and he's at this spot so this is really awesome and let me try with our tutorials run to education okay so you can see the rock paper scissor and introduction lottery See, it went away. The, it was a different one. Lottery update parent. Lottery flip card. There's no lottery flip card. So this is how you handle this situation. I'll be concluding this video right now because everything is completed. We created a full flat project of YouTube. The thing is you can add customizations to it, add features to it. For example, you can have your own profile, you can integrate the YouTube profile, your own YouTube profile and have some notifications, like videos, you can subscribe to channels and a bunch of stuff so you can play around here. Do let us know in the comment below what do you think about this project and from the next tutorials we will be working on the main projects like not the main project, these are main projects but we'll be working on full stack projects we might be creating a server which adds uh, an item deletes an item update an item and a bunch of stuff like that so first of all i would like you guys to support us by subscribing to our channel if you haven't yet like our videos let us know in the comment what do you feel we should change what are the new upgrades you think we should come up with okay it does really help us a lot and if you we even have our email in the description feel free to email us about whatever questions you have related to job related to learning we even teach people personally so that's something that if you can be beneficial with and we do it for free so let us know and support us and keep watching our tutorials Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.